Okay, in the last uh, video, we basically finished the game, but this is where it starts to become more interesting. You basically just need to play around and make it your own game. You can add additional characters, you can add a different, different bits in. But the way I'm going to do it today is I'm going to add a bit of interaction at the start. So I'm going to go back to load world, I'm going to go back to test world, and go back to edit. Now I've got my two characters. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to program Frank here. And I want him to say something at the start. So I'm going to say when timer, and I'm going to set a very small number of seconds, let's say four seconds. I want him to say and you can say what you want to say so I'm going to say I bet I can get all the apples before you can and we can press save but we only want him to say that once. Now if I press escape and I press play, the game starts, and as the game starts, after a few seconds, he speaks, but we don't respond. So the way we want to do, add, add those, we want our character to be able to hear what um, Frank said and then respond to it. So we're gonna click on the object tool, we're going to right click on Oscar, we're going to go to program, and we're going to add an element here where he's listening. So we're going to say when he hears, and we want it to be the cycle, say match after I've heard, match as soon as I've heard. So we can write the same thing in. Say apples. Then what we want him to say I'm, f I'm faster and I'll get them quicker. Okay save and again we only want him to say it once so let's press escape and what we should say now is we should get speech after four seconds we can change that maybe make it a bit quicker i bet i can get all the apples before you can i'm faster and i'll get them quicker now unfortunately because i spent so long waiting around for that half the game is already over so you could adjust the timing to make that happen quicker the other thing I haven't really given is a fair chance here at any point in the programming for um, Frank to win. So we could actually add an element in here where when he's scored, and he's on the red score, so when he's scored red, greater than four as well then he can also win the game. Or he could press end the game. Let's just try this now. So if I just press play, and we don't really partake, he's got one, two, he's got three. Yeah, now can you see the problem here? Because we said that he'd won, it thinks that we've won. So what we want to do is we want to change that so he doesn't win. But instead, we end the game. So now we press play and get the same thing. If we move around and get five, greater than four, it's got three now gets four, game over. So we've basically lost. Okay, so we've got two characters. We've got objects that will fire us if we bump into them. We've got things we need to collect. We've got health points. And we've also got a clear end.
but we can extend this. We could add different bits into the landscape. We can make the land much larger. We can make the number of apples need to be collected. We can even make it that they only get points if they collect certain numbers of apples or if the apples are of a certain color. So have a play around and let's see what you can make.